The Senate says that the recent granting of autonomy to the state judiciary by the executive arm of government would aid rapid dispensation of justice in the states across the country. Chairman of the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Senator Michael Bamudili, disclosed this during the screening and confirmation of the Executive Secretary-designate of the National Human Rights Commission, Anthony Ojuku, for another term, and Justice Lawal Stanley as President-designate for FCT Customary Court of Appeal. Bamudili said that the signing of fiscal autonomy for state judiciary will help to decongest prisons. For us, we have no doubt that this is going to make a major difference in the dispensation of justice in this country. And this is an integral part of the justice sector reforms that we all have been clamoring for. And it is no longer at the discretion of our governors uh, or any other chief executive at the state level uh, it is now law based on the Constitution and not uh, an act of Parliament or executive order. And to the extent that our Constitution is the ground norm, we believe that speedy progress uh, will be made in this regard. And then, of course, um, let me also assure members of public uh, that uh, the other bills uh, that were not as sent to by Mr. President, uh, as far as we are con concerned, um, it's a development that only calls for further engagement and further interaction. In this part, Justice Lawal appealed to the Senate to ensure that all issues of the family and matrimonial cases be handled by the customary courts instead of the high courts. There is need for us as a nation to either reassign the portfolio and workloads of courts so that we can distribute it more evenly, so that more, some courts will not be working, working, and making, uh, working more than their limit. And as a result of that, the cases will be suffering. Why other courts will not have much to do? It will be in the interest of the country if we can assign a mid jurisdiction. And my, I intend to appeal to the National Assembly because it's only the National Assembly that can help us out. Immediately I came into office, I noticed that um, the morale of the staff was quite low. And that the level of awareness about human rights issues. Uh, was quite low, and there was a lot of impunity amongst law enforcement agents, and our legal framework, uh, one needed to be harmonized because we were operating under two legislations, it needed to be harmonized into one to make it easier. Uh, for users, and again, some of the uh, things we needed to work like ability to summon witnesses, someone those who had violated human rights to give an account. We needed um, we needed the support of the National Assembly to do that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.